What's most exciting is that we hit this campaign, you know, fast, right? right. The first day we sold, what, over 2,000 tickets? We, we've learned each and every year on how to get those tickets going. <laughs> and uh, we sold out today at 7.15 this morning, which is just a, a phenomenal feat for all of the volunteers and all the folks at St. Jude and uh, all of our uh, community uh, organizations that have been taking part mm -hmm. this year. I remember, I'm going to bring in our general manager, this is Bill Lannessy, and I remember three years ago and uh, mm -hmm. sitting in your office and you guys said, okay, we're going to do this St. Jude Dream Home. We're we're going to get on board as Fox 19 and we're going to become a part of this community. Could you ever imagine, because a lot of times many of the cities across the country that do this campaign, they don't sell out. Yeah, and it's it's something that I think you learn a lot as you go through it every year, as you guys were just talking about. And I think what we did this year that was so different was to get ahead of it, to get out there and, and really do a big push right out of the box. And our partners over at Honda were tremendously valuable in that. To give that incentive out for that early bird special to brand be able car. to, yeah, brand new car. And our friend in Batesville, Indiana just won it. And so that's exciting and I'm sure he'll enjoy it. But I think that was a big part of it. And you know, Tracy, as you know, we like to do things for the community but but to pick the right things and then to do them right um, and just do a handful of them certainly our think pink campaign is, is is a big thing that we do all year and quite frankly this is our other one uh, and this is a tremendous opportunity for us to generate some support for a, a very worthy institution you know they just had their big golf tournament last year and generated a lot of money for that and got a lot of publicity and and we're just happy we could do what we did this year yeah. You know what I think for me is I, I look back over the campaign and every time we picked up the phone and we said, would you help? Here's what we're passionate about. Here's what we want to do to help local families that are um, unfortunately having to make their way to Memphis. You know, will you help us? And immediately people are like, absolutely. What do you need to do? So much that Neil Bambrick would say in our first meeting with him, you know what? Not only am I giving you a car for this campaign, We'll give you another one for next as well. And we have that on tape. Yes. And so I asked him. Back out now, Neil. We've got you recorded. <laughs> no, I actually <laughs> asked him about three times today. I think I interrupted and said, I'm sorry, could you say that again just to make sure we got yeah. that on tape? Yeah, no, and, and I just want to take a minute. You, The two of you have really worked extremely hard on this. But candidly, Tracy, this yeah. is, you're the captain. You're, yeah, you're, you're the, the captain of our ship. Yeah. Um, oh, no, waterworks. Yeah, here we go. Right. Here we go. No. I had my moment about, no, I had my moment about 750 because I think, oh my gosh, you know what? You ask people to help and you get passionate. You go to St. Jude and you think, wow, as a parent, I can't imagine having to be here. So to try to take that experience, share with our viewers and say, you know what? We need you to help. Yeah. And they say, okay, yeah. you know what? We will. Well, let me, let me help you gather yourself <laughs> a minute because right. there's actually one other person that I'd like to bring out, Wayne Young. Yes. Um, who does a lot of work behind Wayne? Thank you very much. Um, Wayne's our digital sales manager here at the station now, but uh, he this is totally outside of his regular job description, and you do a lot of work behind it. Tell tell us what it's meant for you to be a part of this for three years. Well, Bill, thank you very much. First of all, this is one of my proudest accomplishments. Uh, like Tracy, I remember when we first started this, and we really followed your lead. Uh, your your belief was that for us to do it, we had to be all in. And it's been such a team accomplishment, everyone throughout the station, our partners inside and outside the television station. It's, it's just been remarkable, and it, it truly is one of my proudest accomplishments. Great, and we, we're very appreciative for it. So Thank thanks you. again, my friend. Thank appreciate you appreciate it. Okay, I'm ready to go. Yeah, I'm ready to take over. Absolutely.